sure. You can crush a can in all kinds of ways. You can crush it with your hand, stomp on it with your foot, but what if I told you, you could crush a can using nothing but pressure and temperature change? My name is JJ, and today in our Science at Home experiment, we are going to talk all about the science of pressure and temperature change. To do this experiment, you're going to need a pair of tongs, some safety goggles, an oven mitt, a bowl of ice water, and an aluminum can. And you want to fill that can with just a little bit of water. I would say kind of right up to the very bottom of it. You also need an adult because we're going to use the stove top for this experiment. So we're going to see what happens when this can that's getting heated gets added to this ice bath. You're gonna hear the water start to gurgle and, and bubble. That means that the water inside of the can is starting to boil. And that's exactly what we want for this experiment. You don't wanna to touch the can. You wanna wait until you can start to hear it boil and bubble. And you may even start to see some steam rise out of the spout of the can. When you see that and hear that, you know that you're ready for this experiment. So we are going to turn off the heat and in one swift motion, I love it when science works. Now the way that that happened is when the can was getting heated on our stovetop, the water inside of it was getting heated and began to boil. Boiling means that it's going from a liquid to a gas. And when something is in a gaseous state, it means the molecules are more excited and they're gonna move around faster and faster. Now, because they're moving around faster, they need more space to do that in. So when they're inside of the can, they're gonna start to escape out of the spout of the can. But when we turn it upside down into that ice bath, the molecules don't have anywhere to go and they're immediately cooled. The difference in pressure between the outside of the can and the inside of the can is felt immediately, and that's what causes the can to implode. Pretty cool. Well, that was our science at home experiment all about pressure. My name is JJ. Until next time.